Hello, in this video we're going to look at the arc price elasticity of demand. This will use the midpoint formula that is presented in most principles of economics books and some intermediate microeconomics books. So the arc elasticity of demand can be written as the following, the change in quantity demanded divided by the average quantity, and then this is all going to be divided by the change in price divided by the average price. To simplify this mess, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the reciprocal of what's down here. So the reciprocal of change in price over average price is just average price divided by change in price. So doing that, this formula will simplify down to something like this. And just in shorthand notation, the change in quantity is delta Q, the change in price is delta P, average price I'm going to write as P bar, average quantity I'll write as Q bar. So let's use this formula to solve a problem. If price increases from 10 to $14 and quantity demanded falls as a result from 60 to 40, what is the elasticity of demand? So the change in price is positive, 10 to 14, so we got 4 here, so the change in price is $4. The change in quantity is negative. We're going from 60 to 40, and that is a minus 20 unit decrease, so the change in quantity is minus 20. Now we need the averages. What is the average price? The average price is $12, so 10 plus 14 divided by 2 equals 12. And the average quantity is 60 plus 40 divided by 2 um, is 100 divided by 2 is 50, so plugging that all in and solving, we get the following answer. Uh, doing another example, uh, this time if price decreases from 18 to $10, so the, the change in P here is minus 8, and as a result, uh, people buy more because of the lower price. Quantity goes up by 40 units, so the change in Q is 40. And then solving for the average price and quantity, the average price uh, it's also just a midpoint of these two, so the midpoint is 14, and sometimes that's why it's called the midpoint formula. So the average or the midpoint between 18 and 10 is 14, and the average or midpoint between 10 and 50 is 30. Simplifying and solving, we get this. Oh, just one quick kind of thing to help uh, you in memorizing this formula is uh, try to remember that the, the cross terms match these cross variables match, so Q and Q, P and P, so the cross variables match. All right, and finally in problem three, if price increases from 8 to $12, so change in P is plus 4, we see that quantity falls by 2, so minus 2 for the quantity, plugging in the averages of the price, so the average price here is $10, and the average quantity or the midpoint uh, between 6 and 4 is 5. Simplifying, we get minus 1. So I hope you found this video helpful.